I'm really bored. What shall I do? Mom, I don't know what to do. I'm bored, bored, bored. Why don't you draw a picture with your new crayons? I already drew a hundred pictures. I'm bored, bored, bored. Well, why don't you read one of your new library books? I already read all of my books a thousand times. I'm bored, bored, bored. How about playing with your toys? I already played with a million toys. I'm bored, bored, bored. Okay dear, cool down. I will give you one solution. I remember one day when I was your age and I was bored. My mother, your grandmother sent me out to search for the strangest little house. If you would like, I can tell you just what she told me to do. Oh really? You bored it once? That is interesting. First you need to put on your raincoat and your hat and your scarf and your mittens and your boots. Then you need to go outside. And then you need to walk up the block and down the block and around the block to look for that little house. What kind of little house? It's a little round red house with no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. I never saw a house like that before. Where is it? I can't tell you. But if you keep your ears open and your eyes open and you look hard, you should find it not too far from here. You won't even need to cross the street. Mom, I will do it. Yes, I saw white houses and blue houses and yellow houses and green houses. Yes, I saw one red house. There it is. Oh, this house is quiet, not round. It has a chimney, all right. But also lots and lots of windows. It has a door too. But I don't know whether there is a star. The windows have curtains on the inside. That cannot be it. I marched around the corner, up the long block and to the next corner. There were yellow houses and brown houses and many colored houses. But not one of them was a little round red house. With no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. Hey little boy, are you lost? Oh no! I live at Ivy Rock Lane, Bridgewater, New Jersey. That's right, around the corner. No, you are not lost. Do you know where everyone lives around here? I am looking for a special house. Of course, I do little boy. That's my job. What house do you want to find? My mother sent me to find a little round red house with no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. Little boy. I have been to every house in town, but I have never seen a house like that before. Are you sure your mother isn't pulling your leg? Oh no! My mother wouldn't tease me. She said she found the same house when she was just my age. So I know it's real. Sorry, I can't help you my friend. I have got to be getting on my way. It's time to deliver the mail. Okay, goodbye. Little boy, are you lost? Oh no! I live at Ivy Rock Lane, Bridgewater, New Jersey. That's right, around the block. No, you are not lost. Ma'am, do you know where everyone lives around here? I'm looking for a special house. I asked the mail carrier and he didn't know where it was. Little boy, I know this neighborhood like the back of my hand. I drive up these streets and down these streets every day, making sure things are safe around here. What house do you want to find? My mother sent me to find a little round red house with no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. Little boy, I have been past every house in the town, but I have never seen a house like that before. Are you sure? That is what your mother said? Oh yes ma'am. She said she found the same house when she was just my age, so I know it's real. Sorry, I can't help you buddy. I have got to be getting back to my street patrol. Goodbye. I'm really sad. I searched everywhere and I asked the mail carrier and a police officer. They couldn't help me. Mom said me I wouldn't even need to cross the street. Okay, there is just one more house to check and that is Mr. Fetzer's house. It is at the end of the block. 
Mr. Fetzer had lived in the neighborhood longer than anyone. Years and years ago, there were many farms in Bridgewater. But one by one, the land had been sold. And houses were built where there had once been fields of jersey tomatoes and white corn. Mr. Fetzer's farm was the last one left in the neighborhood. He ran a small farm stand and sold the fresh fruits and vegetables he grew in his gardens and orchards. If anyone knows where that house is, he should. Why, hello the young fellow. What can I do for you? Come for a taste of my apple cider. Hunting for houses is thirsty work. The cider tastes sweet and tart all at the same time. Thanks for the cider. Mr. Fetzer, can you help me? I am looking for a house. It's a little round red house with no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. My mother says you have lived here longer than anybody and she found the house when she was my age. So I thought you might know where it is. Seems to me I remember your mother when she was just a little girl. Seems to me she came to find me on a day just like today. Seems to me that she was looking for a house too. Just like the one you have described. And seems to me I knew just where to send her. Little boy, look at my orchard upon a little hill. See those trees. Run up there and take a look around. And I think you will find what you are looking for. Thank you, Mr. Fetzer. A little red round house with no windows and no doors. A chimney on top. A star in the middle. Mom, Mom, I think I found it. I think you did too. A little round red house. With no windows and no doors, a chimney on top. But where is the star? Look at it now. I cut it in half right through its middle. And now just look at the center. There is a star. Oh, how wonderful. There inside the apple is a star holding five brown seeds. It's too wonderful to eat without looking at the star, isn't it? Yes, indeed.